Welcome to the latest episode of the vlog where I give you the news about the dogs and all the comings and goings behind the scenes. A little bit of a longer format, but there's been a lot happening this week. We've got Buster, who's here, one of the new favorites. Tina is having some really good progress. I'm gonna update you on her because she's a massive crowd favorite, obviously. We've got some new arrivals who've come in. One dog who's actually sadly been shot, but we're making progress with him, little Fabius. And generally, good things happen. Although the weather here in Costa Maria has not been playing ball. It's a little bit wet which makes everything a little bit harder, but there's lots of good things happening. Let's go and have a look around and see what's happening here at Happy Dogger Land. Oh, they're two very good dogs. Mrs. Tina, looking spectacular, and Mr. Buster. The latest on Buster is, he's been here three weeks now and we've been working on this ear, which was full of blood, but because he was so badly neglected for so long, the blood has actually kind of congealed in his ear and he's had three operations now and none of them have worked. So we're on to a fourth one, which is one of his last chances, hopefully, of getting it fixed. And if not, they might have to take drastic action and possibly remove the ear. But we're talking to lots of different vets. He's not in any pain. He's really happy. He's got his freedom and he's, he's really enjoying life. He's a little bit slow as he builds up his sort of energy like anybody who's he's, he's very unfit because he's been on the chain for so long so he's going on longer and longer walks every day he's smelling the flowers he's loving life he's, he's big friends with Tina he's big friends with Mick Jagger and he's generally a very happy dog now albeit with some pretty serious health issues to fix which are going to take probably weeks rather than months I would say you're the guard dog aren't you nobody's going to come in the gates when they see you they run a mile from you, big scary face, even though you're a big baby. You're the biggest baby we've ever come across, aren't you? You're the biggest baby, big head. Old big head. <laughs> One little dog who many of you loved from the very start is Lady and she is always in the office. You can see her in there in the corner behind me. She will not let anybody else in that office. It has now become her kingdom. She obviously lived on the streets. She had nothing to her name all through the years. So anybody from Tina to McMuffin to small puppies, if anybody tries and goes in that door, she's not letting them in there. That is her office uh, for now. But she's actually leaving in six days time now to her forever home with Jamie when he moves into his new house. And that's gonna be a wonderful day. The dog who was down and out, could hardly walk. She's slowly rebuilding her life and she's off to her forever home. So wonderful news for Lady. There she is in her little corner. So little Fabius, obviously a girl who does feeding, a volunteer out on the streets who found him and he was in a terrible way. He looked like he was disabled. He was dragging himself out just to get food. But we obviously couldn't leave him there. So we took him in straight away. And what we did was got him an X-ray. But what showed up on the X-ray, and this is the unbelievable part, was that he'd actually been shot. So you can see the entry wound where the bullet went in and you can see the bullet still lodged inside him. So at the moment, the bullet is safe to stay there. The good news is Sybil, who many of you all have seen, she helps disabled dogs, rehabilitates them. There's no operation she can do. So there's no quick fix, but she thinks with physiotherapy, there might be a chance that he walks again. So it's a really long road to recovery. It's gonna take months for sure. The biggest problem he had were kind of unrelated to the core wounds. It was he had so many ticks and fleas in his ears. He was in massive pain. And then he had sores all over his body because he's dragging himself around on hard concrete. So we're working on cleaning those up, getting them bandaged, getting those healed, keeping them on really smooth surfaces. And then his rehabilitation can happen. But I think the biggest thing to understand with a dog like that, when you see it come in is that there's no quick fix. So Sybil is gonna be putting in a huge amount of work with that dog over the next, I would say three to six months. And my dream her dream, everybody's dream is that we see a video on here one day of him back, you know, walking or running along a beach. She's 50-50 on if that can ever happen, but she's gonna give it a try. And for her to be taking on something like that is just, you know, it's all inspiring for me to see something like that. Uh, this is Fabius. We took him to an X-ray yesterday and the vet told us that he got shot. You can see the bullet went in here and went through his spine and is now around here on this side. No, he can't, he can't walk at the moment. We hope Sybil can fix him. 
there's no operation uh, we can do. We try to help him with uh, physiotherapy. Because he cannot walk, he's dragging him his back legs around. So he needs every day a proper cleaning and like a proper wash. And now we will wrap his wounds in a bandage so that it's not getting worse. We will keep him on a smooth ground without rocks or, or anything, so. And is he in pain? No, he's not in pain. Jules and Sybil have been looking after him. He's a little sweetheart. His legs are sore from dragging himself around, but there's some hope for him because he's got over his tics and his, uh, yes, lovely dog, aren't you? He's got over his sort of other sicknesses and now it's gonna be a long road to recovery. So today he's getting cleaned up by Jules and he is also going to get bandaged up now, which we'll show you. Now, Tina pretty much has her own update in every one of these videos because she is that loved and that important. Her health in the last 10 days kind of took a bit of a turn for the worse, but thanks to some wonderful people in the vets, been able to turn it around quite a bit. So she, here she is. <laughs> she was on the drip for eight hours for four nights in a row, which is just really easing the, the burden on her kidneys. She's also on the special diet. She also now has blood pressure medicine and she's very itchy. And so we were definitely in the stage where her kidneys are failing and she's starting to struggle. But the good thing I think that's made the biggest difference to her besides the medicine, maybe as important as the medicine, is that she's moved in with me in Swoop and at Jumbo now. And she doesn't, when she's at the land with all the other dogs, there's too much excitement. She follows me everywhere. Every, like if I leave, she gets stressed out. If she hears the moped going, she barks, she gets stressed out. She's running around. She's always kind of too energetic there. Whereas in the house, she's just calmed right down. It's not that she's feeling very bad or anything like that. It's just that her energy is at a much, she's not as stressed. She doesn't think that I'm gonna be leaving all the time. She sleeps just at the end of my bed. So there she is, scratching herself having the time of her life so she's definitely not not perfect we always knew this was coming but uh, i think she's doing as as well as she can and we're giving her we're buying her a lot of time with all these treatments it's hard work sitting up with her on the drip and getting medicines and special diets and all that sort of stuff but if ever anybody was worth it it's tina so that's pretty much it for this week. As you can see, it's really been a week of kind of firefighting. A lot of dogs, a lot of sick dogs, a lot of puppies, a lot of operations, dogs that have been shot. When you come into this, you think, I thought I'd just be feeding dogs. And I thought that would be kind of the extent of what I'd be doing is just bringing a bit of food out to dogs every day and maybe water and, you know, a couple of tablets here and there. But it really has turned into nearly like full on triage out on the streets where you're finding treatments, finding hospitals, finding vets, finding homes. It's like, comes at you from every angle but like you're making a real difference to, to dogs and what better way to end than Tina coming into the shot. Hope you have a wonderful week and that you enjoyed all the dogs this week.